Hi kindergarten! Now that you're beginning to work towards the end of our module 4 book, we're going to be doing a lot more independent work. I'm going to help you through a problem at the beginning of this video and then at the end you're going to do one on your own. Now you're really going to need your number bond organizer and you're also going to need your dry erase marker. Okay? So go ahead and pause this video and get those things out if you don't have them. Here we go. So there were 10 jelly beans. And I mean 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 jelly beans. I put orange jelly beans on my screen, but you can put whatever color jelly beans you want on your dry erase board. Now, if I had my 10 jelly beans, I would hold some in each hand. How many do you think I should hold in each hand? Pause the video. And in fact, you can write down your numbers that you have in each hand. I'm going to put how many jelly beans I had in each hand. Doesn't matter what numbers you pick, but it has to equal 10. So I'm gonna say that I put four jelly beans in one hand, and that leaves me with one, two, three, four, five, six jelly beans in the other hand. I wish I had real jelly beans with me right now, but I don't. But I have four jelly beans that are imaginary in one hand and six in the other. So now how would I put that in a number bond? Well, we know that we have 10 jelly beans all together because that was the very beginning of our story. But I said I had four in one hand and I said I had six in the other. So I can put six for one of my hands and four for uh, the other one of my hands. Remember, these are the parts. So six is one of the parts and four is the other part. But 10 is how many I have all together. Now, you all know that it's very important to put our number bonds into number sentences as well. We know that 10 is the same as six and four. 10 equals six plus four. Pretty amazing. So now this is where you get to be independent because you're gonna follow this exact same process. You are gonna draw a picture, you are going to write a number bond, and you are going to write a number sentence all by yourself. All that I'm going to do is read you this story. So get ready to fill out your very own work. Shelly had eight presents. Her friend gave her two more presents. Shelly has ten presents now. How are you going to put this in a number bond and a number sentence? I bet you you can do it. Do your very best and take a picture of your work when you're done. Great job and see you later, kindergarten.